keeping it real. Uh, Thank you for the rebuttal. Huh. Thank you for the reply. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I was trying to remember what we were talking about. Whoa. Uh, wow. Whoa! Wow! They should make a Crash wow. Bandicoot clone of WoW called Whoa! 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 <laughs> Crash said that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> is that you laughing or is that what Crash would say instead? Yes. Da -da -da -da. I have no idea where that key is. Yeah, I used to I used to actually play WoW a lot. I played it pretty consistently until I was like twelve. And then and then we stopped for a while until Wrath of the Lich King came out, the second the second uh Season of expansion. Adventure Time. Ooh. The second ooh. The se ooh, ooh the second ooh, expansion. Ooh, ooh. And uh then I played it for a while more. I played a, I played a Death Knight, which was the new thing where you like started closer. Uh right, oh, okay. like, to the end of the thing. And then my dad got tired of it because my dad had, my dad didn't stop fucking playing. My dad ruined World of Warcraft for himself because he was really into it. But he like he ground so 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 much. Like he would like just day after fucking day for like a month. It was the only game he would play, and he would only be doing the most boring parts of WoW. Rough. Uh, so he just he could never fucking play it again, and he canceled our he canceled our subscription. Like I was still interested, I was still like into new content and shit, yeah, and I was still you. having relative fun. There, like WoW is a it's it's there's a reason that it is the most successful MMO. I I, I have um, I tried a long time ago, probably around like sixth or seventh grade. Um, my brother was way into it. He wanted to you get were, me into it. I did not like. You would have been twelve, uh, eleven, eleven, around there. So that's that was probably when Outland was still the only, out. Oh, well, that's that might have been part of it. First of all, Outland was by far the fucking worst expansion. But you might not have even gotten there. I don't even know. No, I didn't. I like I started in the intro area and I was like, well, this is not my kind of deal. Well, I've always the, just went in. Win. That's actually that. That's actually one of my one Oops. of my biggest problems now. Fuck. I don't remember if we talked about that, but um, now, like the the they 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 didn't used to be as good i like remember that they were they were also like, kind of boring but now the intro areas in each area are like super hyper developed like just like so 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 well made compared to the rest of the game that it kind of fucks up your expectations of what the game is going to be yeah. at those first 10 levels sure uh, but then you don't have <laughs> then you don't have enough time to cancel your subscription <laughs> well actually no you can play you, it's a, a, wow is free to play up to level 20 now Oh, cool. Yeah, it's 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 pretty nice of them. Technically, you can make it free to play forever because you can buy in you can buy subscriptions using in-game money now. Uh, also cool. But it's pretty expensive. Like money means a lot fucking less now than it used to. Like I I watched um, uh, Griffin McElroy has a has a, a series called Peacecraft, where he does a pacifist run, of of wow. Um, and when I say pacifist run, I basically just mean he fucks around and refuses to hit anyone. Nice. I uh, and uh, I I was like watching him get money and and like early on someone gives him like 500 gold and I'm like oh wow that's fucking insane wow these viewers they're really generous. Yeah, but, but that was like, yeah. fucking nothing. Yeah. Like that was just the opening salvo of a ridiculous amount of money. The People were one one guy dropped seventy thousand fucking gold on him like it wasn't no thing. Yeah. And just the the economy compared to when I was when I was involved in it is so so different. The numbers are just so much larger. Sure. Game um, economies are really interesting to look into, especially like, they're they're really cool. Yeah, yeah WoW is actually a pr like it's it's an interesting microcosm of mm -hmm. of a uh, of reality. Have you ever heard about the the tainted blood, I think, Dude. outbreak. This was a oh, really oh. big deal back in the day. Oh fuck! I remember something like that. Yeah. Um. There was a, there's there's a uh, an outbreak of a disease in WoW. It was it was something you could get in a dungeon from a boss that killed you very very quickly and actually spread according to your proximity. And there was like a percent chance, um, for like how close you were to a person. How like the chance that it would spread to them depending on time, like it would do checks over time to see if you give it to people. And what people found out, and either did on purpose or did on accident, is if you gave it to one of your pets, and then despawned that pet, um, the pet would keep it forever. It, not forever, it, but it would, but it would keep it. And then you could, and then if you summoned it somewhere else where other people were. It would then be infected, and it could give it to other. So people. you could just fucking. <laughs> so people could... would go in. They would get. They give their their pet this this disease, 
and then they'd go back to one of the main cities and summon the pet again. Oh my god! Either not realizing or being being assholes. Like actual um, in-game terrorists. Yes, that is that's actually like one of the people people checked out like like looked at logs of this whole outbreak because there was shit like that. Like they were like to to examine terrorist actions in wow. a microcosm of society. Um, they would summon their their pets back again, and literally in the main cities, dude, at the height of the outbreak. The you leave skeletons behind in WoW when you die, the streets were literally just white. That is fucking with bones. insane. And people, it, there were, the, and it was it was really cool because it was a great microcosm of, yeah, of yeah, society. I mean, yeah. There were people that would like there were there were healers that would uh, that would stand on corners in in quarantine areas and offer free healing to people. People who were too low level to do anything about it and who who were too low level to survive the outbreak would stand in air in corridors leading to quarantined areas and direct people away from the quarantined areas so that they could so that people who didn't know wouldn't go inside. People like people what drained out of the main cities and went out into the countryside and like uh, other cities became um, population hubs for a while. While while the the disease was raging in the primary cities, it was really really fucking cool. That's ridiculous. Dude. It was it was amazing. I, like like reading about it is really cool. And yeah. and uh, medical officials, I uh, I uh, see, what's the Center for Demi for Disease CDC? Yeah. That the CDC studied it as as a as like a metric of a, a, po a possible way to like get insight into. Um, human behavior in in the cases out of outbreaks like that yeah. uh, uh there was there's a little bit of study on how on, on on like i said those terrorist actions but it's not really the same because in an online game you know it's just trolling you know, yeah exactly like, get, it, it, getting a not... disease and then running into a city yeah. is just haha funny it instead have, of haha both i and other people are going to actually die <laughs> yeah, it's not actually the fucking even close to the same yeah. effect. um but no that's super interesting uh that 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 kind of the the, the 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 real life things that are hyper complex um that are like transferable in the video games are always really interesting like like economies um like it's weird to think that in ocarina of time my max wallet was 99 dollars and that's a f like an a pretty large amount and then i play fucking uh breath breath of the wild and i have like i think i have like thirty six thousand yeah <laughs> So much inflation in the in the in, in Hyrule. It's not even inflation. It's just like I have so much shit to sell all the time. It's just it's just weird to think. Well, about you like like you physically can't have more money. Like it, apparently yeah. in Ocarina, there there are Hyrulean sanctions against yeah. against keeping too much money. <laughs> there are just taxes. Get, well, your wallet's just too big. It's too small. You can't fit it. No way. There's a cap to money, and every yeah. rupee that you pick up beyond that goes to the Hyrule government. Exactly. I um, can I can have fucking like two hundred pound swords in my fucking pocket. But I can't put rupees in there. No way. No, no how. No, 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 no. No, absolutely no. That's not. Too much, That's silly, stupid. Um, yeah, I love, I love checking out Fuck. that shit. Wow, actually did a thing after that where they they basically manufactured a similar thing that for the for the Wrath of the Lich King expansion before it came out. Before every expansion, they do like a huge event where where like the the events leading up to that occurring are set up in game. Um, and in for the Wrath of the Lich King one, there was a massive zombie plague outbreak on both of the continents and it was very similar but like the the rate that the disease would would spread to people was lowered because uh -huh. with t tainted blood like it was nearly certain if you stayed next to someone for a couple of seconds they would get it uh and there were literal packs of zombies like roaming cities wow that, could, like, well, as could, players were, were returned and shit were you able to control the zombies like was it a different class of character no no it was you you died and your corpse was raised that's crazy um and so and and a very similar thing started happening though it wasn't as bad because like it was it was manufactured and they could fix shit like sure. I, I when when Tainted Blood was happening, Blizzard shut down sh servers to try and handle what was happening, and people just managed to get around to that. Like the the terrorist troll elements would just yeah. get around it, and they they'd bring a server back up, and someone would still have some way to 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 spread it, and it would start all over again. Fucking ridiculous, dude. That's why I just stick with platformers. I'm not gonna catch any sort of fictional oh, disease. <laughs> Holy fuck! I forgot nice. that those all explode. Nice. Um, and crashy stanky stoot except fucking rage catch some rage baby. I gotta say this is this is one of those really hard like w relatively difficult games that um that is m fucking much worse the fuck the first playthrough like I, I remember how I said I was watching a streamer play this and I was like how the fuck does he have that many lives boom I have 25 lives because I just haven't died I've died twice it's getting good. That's what that's what the old games are all about. I love that. I, I love that, but like, 
I don't know. There was games that did it right. Where Shouldn't you just? Can you not just jump up onto that metal one and then jump? Can you do like do you Fuck not jump you, high Billy. enough? Fuck you. 